Ted Wren viewers, Brent Herman. Today we're on a Lagoon 50. It's a 2019. The boat's name is Peaches. It's an owner's version. It's a four cabin boat, but on the port side, there's three cabins and the master is on the starboard side. Come take a look. Outside here in the aft cockpit, underneath the stairs is your propane. Get a couple tanks of that, very smartly stored away. This one has this surround Isinglass canvas. Just makes it very comfortable when storms kick up. Nice teak table, and all of a sudden you can seat eight to 10 people outside here. So when you're underway, the forward part of the boat and the flybridge become very much used. And then when you stop for the evening, the salon and the aft cockpit becomes uh, your focal point. So all of a sudden, everybody kind of gathers down here. You can put some food out and, and have a nice time out here. This boat has the shark brown or gray exterior cushions, stains and water beat off of them. People ask me, where do I put this and how do I store that? You'll notice here's some of the sunshades and things like that. They roll up nice in a bag, zip it shut and store it away. And as we go through, I'll show you a few more things that they did to the boat. Outside fridge and ice maker. For your outside wet bar here. These are kind of cool. Throughout the boat, you'll notice those. They're lights. So you have courtesy lights as well as those that as you go around the boat in the evening, it makes it look really nice. Outside grill here, this pivots. So you can stand down here and get the smell away from the aft cockpit. While I'm standing down here, you'll notice the swim ladder. Very easy to get in and out of. You have larger steps on it so it doesn't hurt your feet so much getting in and out. It used to be just the round stainless steel. This boat does feature the tender lift. Wow! What a great way to spend money on your boat. That makes it very comfortable to raise the dinghy and also becomes a focal point so your whole aft part of the boat becomes an area for water sports. I know people put tables and chairs out here and all your water sports can come in and out of the aft cockpit because that all folds apart. Tender lift, it's a great addition. Standard 50 amp shore power cords. This boat features 80 horse Yanmars, so it's twin 80 horse Yanmars. Plenty of fuel, water storage, and things like that to, like I said, go for long distances in a boat like this. Coming forward. A couple things that are featured here on this Lagoon 50. Hard top bimini. You do have above windows that you can see the sail go up and down. This one does feature straddle glass up front. These three panels are straddle glass. It's a little bit thicker than Eisen glass. They do have to be stored flat, but most of the time in this boat, you don't take them off, so it's not a huge inconvenience. And then these Eisen glass pieces roll up. It does have the feature of cushions up top here. Those fold up, fold down. Most of the time, you're laying down to relax and enjoy the ride. Flybridge here does feature all the B&G electronics, standard from Lagoon, your engine controls, bow thruster, electric bow thruster, your engine start and stop, your autopilot, so on and so forth. Everything up here is labeled, as I get the question quite a bit of how in the world am I going to sail by myself a 50 foot boat? Well, you'll notice very quickly all the controls are here, this one you're spoiled with a bow thruster, all the lines, very easy to actually single hand the boat. The kicker to that is a self-tacking jib. It's a wonderful, wonderful boat to self-sail or if you have a crew or just comfortability with other people, you can teach them how to sail. Everything's labeled and again, it's all right here. A couple of other things that are very important on a boat, uh, I pointed out the autopilot and then the electric winches. It just makes your sailing experience that much easier. You can pull the sails up by hand and cheat a little bit with using the autopilot to point you right in the wind and then pull the sails up by hand. But this one, you're spoiled with not one, but several electric winches. It's a package that these boats come from Lagoon. Okay guys, we're here on the front portion of this Lagoon 50 Peaches. A couple of things that you'll notice real quickly, it has the bow pulpit seats. Those are super cool when you're sailing along, the dolphins come along and, and uh, you can ride up there. This one does feature a bow spread as well. This one does have code zero and all the rigging that goes along with it for light wind sailing. 
very nice anchor on this, standard from Lagoon. And you'll notice on the specs of this boat that it has a 13.5 kW Onan generator. It's enough to power the whole boat. We turn everything on, so the management system on that, coupled with the inverter, as well as the gel cell batteries work extremely well as power. So you can power the boat all day, every day with that. You notice the rig on this. Again, it's a self-tacking jib. All the lines are as you would expect. Sails are in great shape. The trampolines are in great shape. Again, the boat just overall is in great shape, which means specifically you don't have to work on the boat when you get it. 13 and a half kW. When it's sitting up here, you can still work on it because it sits in a cocoon. You can take it apart and work on it when you need to change the oil, service it with coolant. And it also sits far and away from any of the cabins. These cocoons, they've changed them over the years. That's why the cocoon's so expensive because it keeps the sound and the smell and everything right inside there. So it's protected. You see the sound shield on these? Again, it's far away from the cabins. You don't really hear it, but it does power the whole boat very efficiently. I have it set up here for extra storage. Notice those mattresses are still in the cellophane case. Starboard side, you have a head and shower. These are the 80 horse Yanmars. You'll get a good look at the batteries. Pop the cases on those so you can see them. Then the engines are underneath here. Underneath there, if you're looking real close, you can see the two underwater lights on this side. Then you have an additional two on the other side, so four total. The other engine room houses also a eight and a half foot carbon fiber gangplank. Very nice to have if you're sailing around the world and especially the med or any dock that you'll need it at. It's very lightweight, easy to install. The gangplank from Lagoon, it's a nice feature to have. If you wanted a new boat, they're on a, about a year and a half waiting list for them. So this one is available right now, ready to go.